the paperback fabric, I'm starting out with a piece of regular binder's board, which, as you can see, I've used you know, before. I'm going to take the paper, which is time mold bearing, and I have mixed some methyl cellulose, very thick. This is mixed one eighth of a cup dry to one cup of water. And with a spreader, I'm going to evenly moisten out the paper. Always go off the edge when you're doing this so that that curling doesn't happen. Scrape the excess off into the bin there because you don't want to have any large bits of methyl cellulose on the paper when we actually put it onto the silk. is evenly damped, I'm going to pick it up and put it aside. The silk has been cut and torn so that there's not any uh, loose threads that would get on top. Spread this out lightly and then again with the methyl cellulose put a little bit on there and with our scraper begin to scrape this up into the fabric, going off the edges each time so that we don't go picking up the fabric and we want to fill all of the spaces between the, the warp and the back of the fabric. And like we did with the paper, we don't want to leave any large pieces of methacellulose on the surface. Be sure to scrape off so that you make some of the cardboard wet around the edge of the, of the fabric, because that's what's going to hold the paper down. The paper has been cut so that the silk will be about an inch less all the way around. Now we'll pick up the paper, put this methyl cellulose side down on top of it, like this, so that the silk is centered in the paper. Lightly press it into place, and then I'll take the roller to make sure everything is in contact and there's no air between the paper and the fabric. And now we can just take the board and allow it to dry standing up you know, on the edge of the table. And start on another one. It's been about an hour and I've done about 15 of these pieces. And they're all standing here to dry. They'll be dry in about two or three hours. The silk is dried, and to remove it from the board, you can lift the corner to see if the silk comes up. If it doesn't come up, take a knife and cut the corner, just so you can get the tip of your folder underneath the silk. And you're going to rip the paper off the board now. working your way around the board. And 
And here you have your perfectly backed, perfectly smooth piece of silk. Ready to be made into new books or whatever you'd like.